Fatima from the U.S. She says there was a plate that a dog licked in, and she got her hands into it. And then she took a shower, she made wudu, she touched everything. So what's the ruling on that? It's an issue of dispute between schools of thought. I personally, without going into details, I'm inclined to the fact that only what the dog licked or ate from in form of utensils must be washed seven times with water and once with soil. Anything else does not require these eight washes. It does not require soiling or using soil or, or sand or dust or whatever. Why? Because the hadith directly addresses the issue of the dog licking in your plate or in your dish or, your own, or uh, licking your utensils, not anything else. And the Prophet ﷺ, at one stage of time, his grandson had a puppy in the house. And I've mentioned this before, Jibreel refused to enter the house until the puppy was taken out. So the Prophet did not tell them to wash the whole house and the furniture, the ground, because there was a puppy. Which means that your wudu, your ghusl, touching things with wet hands afterwards has no impact on the purity of the house.